Doobie doo 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 doo. There you go. Perfect. Right. Rest in peace. Hi guys, Moz here on my temporary workbench. Well, it could even be permanent because at the moment I'm really enjoying building down here in my office where I used to build. And um, I could then, once I've done the build, I could then go and edit it on my computer, on my Mac. And uh, so I think I'm going to have to make this permanent. But anyways, I digress. Quick video, really, because I'm, I, it's a bit of an ask or a want or maybe even a rant. Um, I am in the process of building this E-Type Jag. It's the starter set Jag from FX 1 to 32 scale, and you will notice that I'm not using any of the paints, and there's a reason why. I decided to challenge myself to build a model just by using the rattle cam. And so everything you can see in front of me is all being sprayed up using a rattle cam. It's been really interesting because it's actually been quite liberating because I've been able to build, or well, basically spray, then build the kit in sections where I wouldn't have necessarily done it in the pattern that I've done it, if you see what I mean. I normally go by the instructions, I then get the old uh, airbrush out, spray a bit, you know, but this time I've had to really think like three steps ahead because it's a lot of masking to do, um, you're spraying, you know, multiple items at the same time because of the colours. But it's been really, really fun to do it. <laughs> it is a really good challenge. Now, I had half a can of this acrylic spray from Humble. I've been using all sorts of Humble sprays. But I this one here is the British Racing Green 239 from... Uh, Humbrew and it goes on really really well now I kind of did the second coat and I've just done the final rub down and I want to give it a third coat but as you can hear the can is empty so jump online on Amazon eBay um, buff um, model shops Google searching and I cannot find this paint and do you know why it's now been discontinued by Humbro, which I think is absolutely tragic. Because, if you're like me, Ferraris, you paint red. Lamborghinis, you paint yellow. Mercs, silver or black. But when it's a British car, you always go for, whether it's a Lotus or a Jag, you go for that iconic British racing green. And unfortunately, I've had a chat with um, Humbro today, and they said they're not even the discontinue the line because it wasn't money making. And it even it's even more sad the fact that Airfix had just announced they're going to bring bring out a new um, Jag in one to forty three scale, and it's going to be in British Racing Green. And the only way you can buy the paint now from Humbro is an enamel tin this size, like this, an enamel tin. You can't get it in acrylic anymore, um, and you can't get it in metal cam from Humbrew. And the tragedy is, is that this is, well, I, I think this is the perfect British racing green. Tammy is, mm, it's okay. Could you get with a Brunswick? Mm, yeah, but this is the standard, okay? So, either I then go back to just rubbing this all down and painting it red, which I don't want to do, like in the instructions, or has anybody out there got a spare can of British Racing Green they're willing to sell me? Um, and I'll, I'll pay for it. I'll even pay for the postage and pack in because I need to finish off this build for my video. I'm, I'm three quarters of the way through this build. And I implore Humbro to think again about discontinuing this. I think that now you're getting a lot more the mod lot of the older generation coming back into modeling i think there's a market for british racing green but anyways i digress you know humble's made the decision it's a sad decision but i can't finish this build unless i get some of this 
So if anyone has a can of this in their stash, in their workshop, or they know of a product that that sprays this colour, it's got it's got to match, okay? Because I don't want to have to respray all this again. Because even now, you know, one of the things in the instructions is a lot of people paint the kit and then they paint that up to the black right up to the end. Well, that doesn't work, you see, because it's got to be it's got to have a bit of a green. If you actually look under the camera there, it's green, you see, because the picture shows. That the green go, the, sorry, the, the the red goes all the way around. So where people stop and just make that black green, I just don't want to rub it all down again and and waste time editing. So please, it's a bit of a one, it's a bit of an ask. But if anyone does have this, go to my about section. There's my email address there. Could you contact me and I'll arrange payment. And uh, if you have a couple of cans spared, just let me know and I'll buy it. But again, as I said, I think it's a sad day that um humble and and i've done you know you talk to anyone when they when they do a car um british racing green and, and they'll use humble because it is one of the best now i could go back down the enamel route and get some enamel thinners and and airbrush it but it goes against the essence of my challenge it's got to be done with spray cans as a challenge but anyways if you do have some as i said please let me know that's it r.i.p british racing green from the acrylic range <sighs> anyways thanks for watching if you like the video click like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe ring that bell so you'll be notified when i release a new video and any questions in the comments and, and email me if you've got one of these tins and i'll see you in the next video cheers